This week on Game On, summer may have just started, but it's beginning to feel a lot like football. The all-pro who blocks all day is front and center with us right here. Jerome Felton gets his game on. His life is music, and few have been where this cat has. Bobby Z on his sound, radio, and maybe the purple one. Two weeks from my effort to build families through adoption, an update on the Rod Simons Golf for the Gift charity tournament, and even with classes finished, there's plenty brewing in the Mayak. We're packed. We're ready to go. It's time to get your game on. Now, from the local Irish pub in downtown Minneapolis, it's Game On with Rod Simons. And it's delightful to have you back with us. It's Game On, powered by the local. I'm Rod Simons, and we talk about great shows. This is one I've been looking forward to being a part of because we have my two loves, sports and music. We cover the bases today. We're talking Vikings football. They're in the middle of some serious workouts. They'll end a little bit later this month. We'll tell you about that, but we have one of their all pros in the house. And we're gonna be talking old school jams and prints. Until then, we get Game On started by the numbers. And when we look at the numbers, we find the Vikings are in minicamp on June 18th. The Twins were welcoming a long homestand. Pony time. Canterbury Park Racing continues in Shakopee, and the Lynx face big tests over the next two weeks. Couldn't be more excited to lead off game on the talking Vikings football with an all pro. Jerome Felton in the house. Thanks for having me. Sounds pretty good, doesn't it? It does have a nice ring to it. Oh, it does. Gotta keep it going. Gotta keep it going. <laughs> it, indeed. So, we got a lot to talk about over the next couple of minutes. First of all, it's got to feel good coming back to town. You live out of town during the offseason. Yeah. You come back to town, all the guys are here. You got Load Holt back. You got AP, who's healthy. You got a new backup quarterback. And everybody seems to be excited about the new season. I mean, it's been an exciting offseason. I think they've made some really strong moves. You look at, you know, signing Matt Caps as our backup. Um, the draft we had, having jumping back in the first round, getting three draft picks. So I think there's a lot of excitement around Minnesota football right now. And, you know, I'm excited to be a part of it. Obviously, it was important for me to get back here and re-sign with the Vikings. And I was happy that got done. And now I can look forward to this season and build for, you know, having a successful season. So I'm excited about it. I think Minnesota Vikings fans are excited, and they should be. You were one of the first moves that they made. Yeah, you know, we, I think I let them know right off the season that this is somewhere I, I felt comfortable. I felt like it was a home for me. Obviously, we had a lot of success running the football last year, and I think it was a mutual interest in wanting to get something done. So I think once you have that, usually something tends to get done. Yeah. So I let them know from the get-go. I didn't want to play games, and they didn't either. Yeah. Uh, they, th they said they were going to be aggressive and trying to get something done, and they were. And luckily, we were able to work something out that both of, both sides were really happy with. I was, I was very happy about that. Let's talk about your job description. Yeah. <laughs> you block pretty well for a stud running back yeah i kind of i kind of like it i'm a adrian peterson secret service <laughs> that's kind of how i think about it because that's my job description i know it it's a role i embrace and uh you know it was fun last year last year was the best year of my football career in the nfl yeah and you know i really enjoyed you know being a block for him because he's a special player a special guy and i hope that we have a lot of success going forward how good is he does he has he even tipped it yet i think he's better than people think he is everybody thinks he's the best so yeah I mean, there's no limits. He doesn't limit himself, so I'm not going to sit here and limit him. Yeah. Uh, I know he's thrown out some pretty big numbers, and I feel like when you break those numbers down, it wouldn't surprise me if he gets that done. So obviously what we're trying to do is help him make it easy, life easier on him and you know, give him the tools to, have to succeed like he did last year. And yeah. We're going to do that. We're working hard. Christian is having a great all season so far, so we're going to rely on him a lot, and obviously we're going to rely on Adrian too. It's a, it's a great gig, and all the success that Peterson has, you play a big role in because you got his back. Oh, you're actually in the front side, but you know what I'm talking <laughs> yeah, about. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, like I said, when they brought me in last year, they said, we want, you know, we want to put a fullback in front of Adrian. You know, you'd always heard, oh, he doesn't like running the fullback, and we talked about that, and, you know, he told me those were just rumors, so I feel like if you're a great running back, you like what, what works, and we were able to have a lot of success out of two back last year, so, you know, I embraced the role. I enjoy it. Um, you know, as a team wins, it, it makes me feel better. And, and like I said, those accolades, like you know, making the Pro Bowl and All Pro, those things come with it when you're when you're successful as a team. And then obviously the success you have individually. Yeah. You can get up close and personal with the fullback, the All Pro fullback, very soon. We'll tell you how in the next segment when we come back. Stick around for one more. Yep. Only here on Game. 
Don't forget, once the Twins broadcast is over, it ain't over. Join me on 96.3 K-Twin with Jason Nagel for the K-Twin final call after each and every Twins game this season. It's radio for us. The final call only at 96.3 K-Twin FM. There's more purple on our plate. What's in store for this season's edition of the Vikings Express? But first, it's the K-Twin voice of the fan asking, are you surprised by the Twins this season? Um, no, I think it's just taking a little time for them to gel. Uh, they got decent pitching staff. They're going to come around. Target Field will come alive on July 26th with music that defined the 90s. Announcing the Skyline Music Festival featuring the LP tour with performances by Soul Asylum, Big Head Todd and the Monsters, Matthew Sweet, with special guest Gear Daddies. The Skyline Music Festival is brought to you by Nickelodeon Golden Draft Light and Rockstar Energy Drink. Tickets are on sale now at twinsbaseball.com or by calling 612-33-TWINS. It starts your morning with a forecast, then watches your energy use all day. It can change your temperature from anywhere in the world, prevent you from heating and cooling an empty house, and still give you a comfortable welcome home. The iComfort Wi-Fi from Lennox. The most advanced comfort control solution available anywhere is now available for your home. So call Liberty Comfort Systems and make your home a smart home today. Lennox, innovation never felt so good. Hey, it's Meat Sauce, and it's time once again for the Bar Abilene trivia question. The question is, which college had the most players drafted in the 2013 NFL Draft? Don't touch that dial. The answer before the end of Game On. Time now to get back in the game. It's Game On TV. Welcome back. This is Game On. That's right, and with, with the All-Pro, very excited. It's not too early. It's, yeah, the summer is just kind of starting here. It's not too early to talk football. No, I mean, I was thinking about it the other day, and we got camp in less than two months. So it, it's right around the corner. It's coming fast, and, you know, we're trying to do our best to start preparing for it. Does it look like it, uh, is it crazy for me to look at camp and say that these guys all seem pretty relaxed about their jobs and, and what they're doing out there. It just seems like everybody is picking up where they left off last season. I think so. I think we had a lot of continuity coming back from yeah. last season. You know, our whole offensive line is back. Uh, you know, we got our tight ends. We have, you know, our running backs. We feel pretty solidified at those positions. Right, so, right. you know, it's just like we just left. Uh, obviously, you know, leaving the Green Bay game like we did, we, we were pretty disappointed. We know we had a good season, but you, know, you never like going out with loss. You want to win that Super Bowl. So, you know, I think guys have come back hungrier this year. Uh, you know, we've had great OTA so far. Like I said before, you yeah. know, Christian's really, I've, I've seen him grow just from the time I got here, and that was just a year ago. So that's another level of excitement that the fans can have because, you know, we're going to go as he goes and obviously Adrian Peterson goes. It's going to help, too, that you drafted a wide receiver in the first round. You've added Greg Jennings. Mm -hmm. The team looks better on yeah. the sides. I think so, too. Uh, you know, Rick Spielman's done a great job. Leslie Frazier's yeah. done a great job bringing the right guys in here to fit our scheme. They're the right type of people. And we're excited about it. Uh, you look at Sharif Floyd getting him where we got, the cornerback from Florida State, you know, all top level guys that almost fell in our lap. So whenever that happens, that's a good thing. And we'll take it and we'll build on that. So when people come out to the card show, here's the information right here. They'll be able to get up close. Two o'clock is the time. Yeah, you sign for them. Do you enjoy that interaction with the fans because they're right up on top of you? Oh, yeah, I love it. You know, this is what you play the game for. Obviously, when you get to this level, you, I, you know, when I, when I thought about being in the NFL, I thought about interacting with fans, yeah. you know, playing at this level and, and coming out into the tunnel and the guys screaming your name and things like that. So that's part of the deal. That's part of the job, and you got to embrace it, and I, I obviously do. And I'm excited about it. I like meeting fans, yeah. hearing, what they, hearing the questions they have, answering some things. You'll get some off-the-wall things every once in a while, but, yeah. you know, I just enjoy it. What if someone slips you a 40 and says, I'll arm wrestle with you? <laughs> I'll take that bet. That's easy money. That bet. Easy money. <laughs> easy money. <laughs> I love that. Good luck. I appreciate Another it. Another all-pro season. Thank you. I appreciate Your that. Your handshake is almost as... Uh, I wouldn't go that far. No, Adrian's is... I, I shook his hand in a meeting. Like, when I first met him, I was like, man, you tried to break my hand. So, not that strong, but I'm working on it. You're the man. Jerome, all-pro in the house. It's only here. It's game on. 
You can keep up with the T-Wolves in the NBA 24-7 with my weekly blog. It's Simon Says at Timberwolves.com. Simon Says full of inside information. We keep you connected to all things inside the team from player movement to special promotions and so much more. It's interactive, so weigh in. Drop me a note at rod at gameontvmn.com. It's Simon Says every Thursday at Timberwolves.com. Before we're wrapped, we're one-on-one with Z. Up next, talking NBA from Adelman to Wolves and old school grooves. First, though, it's the K-Twin voice of the fan asking, are you surprised by the Twins this season? Uh, by the way they started, yes, I am. Because they weren't real good at the beginning, but they are getting much better now. Pleasantly surprised? Uh, very much so, yes. They don't agree on much, these two, but they do love K-Twin, these two. What? I love K-Twin infinitely more than you. No. All six presets in my car. K-Twin. Man, I hear K-Twin in my sleep. I don't sleep walk. I sleep rock. halfway there. The Minnesota Lynx wants you to be a part of the fun at the Target Center this season. So they've made attending a game more affordable than ever before for college students. Tickets for weekday games are only $5 at the Target Center box office with a valid college ID. And for only $5, the Lynx are the best entertainment value in town. Come see the Lynx battle the WNBA's best as they try to bring a title back to Minnesota. This deal for weekday games is only available at the Target Center box office with a valid college ID. Welcome back to Game On TV. Game On is powered by The Local. Great to have you back with us. Game On, happy to have Cool Daddy <laughs> back in the house. It's Ray Richardson. How are you? Thank you so much for having me. Appreciate oh, it's it. It's great to have you back. <laughs> Longtime sports writer. We'll talk Wolves in just a second because we always love to talk basketball with you. But you work at KMOJ. You're spinning back in the day every weekend with Chantel Singh. Yes. And you got a very special date coming up. Tell us about it. Saturday, June 15th uh, at the Double Tree Hotel in St. Louis Park, doing something that we've always dreamed about doing, celebrating three years of working together, me and Chantel. Yeah. Kind of letting people know that we want to say thank you in person to all the folks like yourself who listened to us Love over it. the years. Yeah. It's sort of an appreciation night for all the folks that have made our show really popular what it is today. Yeah. We got a lot of fun things we're giving away that night. It's at the Double Tree Hotel in St. Louis Park. It's called the Back in the Day Anniversary Bash. We're giving away a free trip to Vegas for two. We're giving away a hundred dollar wow. gift cards to go shopping at Cub Foods. I've already won that one. We want to help people, you know, kind of save on their grocery budget. Nice. We're also giving away a free dinner buffet that night. People can eat for free that night. Oh, sweet. and also maybe even win a night nice stay at the Double Tree. So we're, we're loading up our packages just to say thanks to all the people that made us feel so warm and welcome on Sunday night. Are you playing music as well? Oh yeah, yeah, we got a oh, lot. Oh, the back in the day grooves? It's, it's all back in the day grooves. Uh, my co-host Chantel is gonna be singing. Oh. We got a guy, a friend of mine named Jay Most who's gonna be singing, and we got a live band called the Max Band. Yeah. One of the top R&B old, old school bands here in town is gonna be there to perform. Nice. It's gonna be some music, dancing, live entertainment, the works. That's great. You know, one of the things that's fun is Jerome Felton was leaving cool daddy walking in and we're talking about this because you made me some old school discs i love them you, yeah. your musical taste is amazing but some of the young cats haven't heard the oj's and perhaps earth wind and fire or something do you find that you're actually bringing this music to a new generation yes we are because chantelle is only 30 so she's our younger generation connection and she really knows her music, and a lot of people follow her because of the age uh, yeah. con connection. But we went into a lot of people a lot of times who probably say they haven't heard the music much, but they heard their parents play the music yeah. while they were growing up. And once they hear it from their parents, they sort of remember that. Yeah. And it's not so foreign to them when they hear it on the radio. So I love it when young people connect with us. It's good stuff, too. Do you have a, a favorite song? That, I, I'm sure people ask you this out of all the stuff you play. Favorite artist, favorite song? Well, I got a lot of them, but I'm gonna just give you my number one, Temptations, My Girl. Oh, it's a great song. That's my classic. Great stuff. When you've been writing in this market, uh, been covering sports in this market for almost two decades, the Wolves, are they on the right track with Flip being in charge? 
I think bringing Flip here was a tremendous move by uh, by Glenn Taylor, the owner. David Kahn, you know, he kind of knew what he was doing in terms of just the X's and O's of the financing, kind of. But in terms of his people skills and his PR, he was really failing in that department. And I think the team really needed, the franchise needed somebody in that front office to sort of lighten the load a little bit, take some of the pressure off, and just be more visible. Yeah. And uh, just be more uh, more congenial mm -hmm. with the public and the media. And Flip has all those tools. Well, he's a hometown he, guy. He's a hometown guy well liked uh doesn't mind talking about his product mm -hmm. and i think there was a, a breath of fresh air that needed to be done in that front office and flip was the perfect guy for it yeah and do you think they'll hold on to the pick or trade the pick and williams or do something before the draft well they got two picks to work with yeah the number nine and number 26. I let's talk about nine uh, uh, number nine i got a feeling flip's gonna try to explore something with that but he's already kind of said that it may be tough to do that. Yeah. But if the right offer comes along, I mean, rumors going to get crazy as we as we get closer yeah. to the draft. Yeah, yeah. And I've been seeing things about Kevin Love for that for the, to move up in the draft, Derek Williams to be, to package to move up maybe. I've heard that. Yeah. I think if if they got a guy in mind they really like in the draft, this is not a a draft where you say you got one guy that can turn you around, but right. there's some really nice quality players out there, and they still need to get a little strong on the perimeter. You know, some outside shooting. Right. If they see a guy they really want and they got to move up, I wouldn't be surprised if they did that. Okay, last question. In a word, Spurs or Heat? I like Miami uh, because I think San Antonio's going to have a hard time defending LeBron. They don't have a guy like Indiana had to kind of get nose to nose in him. If LeBron stays healthy, if Dwayne Wade gets healthier, mm -hmm. then San Antonio's going to have a little tough time. But the big difference for them is that um, Tim Duncan is way better than the guy they just faced in the middle. Yeah. Way better. And Tim Duncan is a polished professional, got a great inside game. They're going to have to really adjust to him because they're not going to be able to double team him as much. He can pass the ball. He's got a post up game, got a mid range jumper. They're going to have an upgrade in trying to defend him. That could be the X factor. We love having you here. Cool daddy. <laughs> More on the uh, KMOJ back in the day, the anniversary bash. Just go to the website, it's listed there. We'll look forward to seeing you. Thank you. Always here on Game of it's a busy sports week. Here's your update. From the Purple Pride Planner, the Twins in Philadelphia, June 11th, the Vikings have minicamp the 18th to the 20th, first preseason game at the Dome against Houston on the 9th of August, and then they'll open at the Dome against Cleveland September 22nd. The Lynx in San Antonio on the 11th, St. Paul Saints get Fargo opening June 10th, and United FC against Atlanta on Independence Day. U.S. Open with the PGA, the Champions Tour on June 17th, NASCAR at Michigan, and the NHRA back in Brainerd for the Lucas Oil Nationals August 15th. I want you to get into the game. It's Golf for the Gift June 27th, the NHL Alumni Golf Event July 16th. It's Team Fox Golf Dinner Silent Auction at the Minneapolis Golf Club benefiting the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research Monday, June 24th. And I'll be up at the Roger Maris Tournament, June 23rd and 24th in Fargo. More information on our website. And don't forget our podcast with Rod Webby and the A-Train with all the latest information and viewer mail to get us at GameOnTVMN.com. And that's your Purple Pride Planner. Ahead, the man who has kept beat for Prince, Bobby Z. But first, the K-Twin voice of the fan asking, are you surprised by the Twins this season? Sure. Yep. They'll get there. I mean... It's, it's been a little tough, slow going, but uh, they'll get there by the end of the year. It's the end of an era. All the parties. The stories. I'm going to miss your smell. You were my first. What? I knew it. I knew it's it. It's true. Oh, man, I'm sorry I broke your leg. I wrote a song. <clears throat> Sorry. Here we go. Keep the good times going with the crisp, refreshing taste of Bud Light. Here we go. Whoa. Check out this new couch. Being creative is who we are. At Wallingburg and Deeply, families are our passion. We help create new families. This combination of experience, passion, and creativity allows us to fully represent individuals in family court crises. Wallingburg and Deeply believes in families. We will listen, counsel, and advocate for you. 
Walling, Berg & Deeply, the premier family law firm of Minnesota. Welcome back to Game On TV. Game On is powered by the local. Great to have you with us. You recognize this man? The sound with Bobby Z. Bobby Z in the house. How are you? How are you doing, sir? Great to have you here. Great to be here. Been a big fan. Delighted to work with you over at Caitlin Radio. Let's start with your move into radio now. You're mm. hosting the sound with Bobby Z on Sundays. You're Mr. Music. Tell us about the show. The show is uh, the best in Minnesota music, and we play the greatest artists. Uh, of course, we play Prince and Dylan. And from there, you know, there is tons of great music. Replacements, Who's Who Do, Soul Asylum, it goes on and on and on. And we just have a great time finding great tracks from all of our great Minnesota artists. It's a great show, and I know that you love doing it. You work all week lining it up, having great guests on. Was this something that uh, you always wanted to do? We know that you have been involved with Prince. We'll talk about that in a minute. Is this something you always wanted to do? Well, you know, it's really uh, it's fun to play DJ. I always like to play yeah. DJ and uh, and pick the songs and move something along. So getting to talk about that is is kind of a, a dream come true in a way. Yeah, it, it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. Learn more about it. K Twin Radio, KTwin.com, right there. You can uh, check him out online as well. And, and Bobby, see a couple years. Was it a couple years ago that you had the heart attack? Yeah, yeah, a couple years ago, February now. And uh, how are you feeling? You know, I'm feeling great, thanks. And I uh, had a pretty serious heart attack, and uh, learned a lot in the process. And uh, when they save your life like that, you really learn a lot about this whole process and what uh, your body does and uh, the medical stuff. So we've done a couple uh, shows with the American Heart Association uh, to create heart disease awareness right. and uh, it's a pretty remarkable thing uh, what, what they can do, what they really can do. You're walking the walk, no pun intended, and helping out with the American Heart Association and the Heart Walk, you're really shouting at the top of your lungs for people to pay attention. Well, it, you know, it's a very simple thing, you know, it, it, you, you can't wait to what happened to me. Uh, I was very fortunate and I'm fortunate to have uh, some kind of insurance. A lot of people don't have anything. You got to get your blood checked. Just to see if your cholesterol is high, you can take a statin. It's six dollars a month. Save your life for six dollars a month. There's a lot of simple techniques that a lot of people need to just pay attention, and uh, I think we're getting the word out. Now let's uh, congratulations, by the way, on that. Thank you. Great stuff. Let's talk about a recent encounter on stage at the Myth. Everybody's been talking about it still. Prince goes back to the Myth and. Lo and behold, you show up on stage, kind of a reunion of sorts. Yeah, it, it was definitely kind of a reunion of sorts, even though we've never really uh, drifted that far apart. Uh, but musically, to bring a member of the revolution back on stage and play that song, Purple Rain, for people was uh, a thrill of a lifetime. And to, to bring that back uh, with him, obviously, we don't get a lot of nostalgia from Prince. But that night there was uh, a moment in, uh, in time that I will never forget, and uh, it was uh, truly remarkable. The way I've heard you talk, the little bit that I've heard you talk about it, it sounds to me like it was better than you expected. Well, I mean, uh, when you, when, uh, as a perfectionist, you know, you, you want to play that song, you know, it's Purple Rain, and it it's is. something you created, and, and you know, you don't, uh, don't want to let anyone down, especially yourself. So. Um, Maybe uh, yeah, a little caution, but yeah, I, I thought I played it well, and uh, you know, Prince uh, had some kind words for me during the song, and, and that was a little bit more than expected, I guess, yeah. It's pretty cool looking back at all the stuff you guys created, isn't it? Yeah, you know, uh, we, we were kids, and, and we were working really hard, and uh, rock and roll, so is a, when you're young and you're doing that and you're out on a tour bus for the first time or flying around for the first time, uh, funny stuff's bound to happen when you're kids. And, uh, but we worked obviously very hard and Prince is a master songwriter and uh, you knew it then, but as time goes on now, you know that uh, those songs uh, he wrote are masterpieces. Yeah, can't believe it. It's great to have you here. The Sound with Bobby Z. You can always drop him a note by email or just get in touch with him. He loves to answer questions too, and we love having you here. Go Let's to not K be a stranger. Go to the K-Twin website. You can find us both. Yeah. Sunday nights, The Sound with Bobby Z. We'll see you there. And Bobby Z only here on Game On.
You can now get your game on anytime with the show's official app. Download our game on app for iPhone and Android too. It's full of your favorite shows, sponsor links, photos, and so much more. We link you to our show website and to our partner site, the best Viking fan site out there at purplepride.org. So bookmark us at gameontvmn.com. Ahead, time to get caught up on D3 doings in the Mayak. We're all over it, only on Game On. They don't agree on much, these two, but they do love K-Twin, these two. Hey, Guardy, you know the twins are on our favorite radio station? Yeah, we're excited to be on FM. <sighs> Will you start a radio? Make it out to uh, Keith and Kevin? Kevin and Keith. Keith and Kevin's fine. Kevin, then. Yeah, Keith. How about combine it? Kethevin? How would you spell that? K-E-I-T-H-E-I-K-E-T-E-V-E-N. Put me in cold. I'm ready to play. Is there anything that helps you see the court better or get so many, rack up so many assists? You know, you know who you're playing with. You know, if he can jump, if he likes going left, he likes going right. No looks in between, to no one to throw an alley-oop or? No, it's just practice. Ball handling skills, passing. You just practice a lot, you know. Anything else? I can read minds. I won't tell anyone. I know. Meat Sauce here. Here's your Bar Abilene trivia question. The question was, which college had the most players drafted in the 2013 NFL Draft? The answer, Florida State with 11. Join me every Tuesday from 8 to 10 at Bar Abilene from Trivia and next week on Game On. Time now to get back in the game. It's Game On TV. Game On is powered by the local. Time now for your Mayak Minute. The Mayak season officially came to an end in late May with the final event of the year, the 2013 NC2A D3 Track and Field Championships. At that meet, held at UW Lacrosse, plenty of big highlights for Mayak, including Hamlin's Becky Culp, who won the discus title to become the conference's only individual national champion this season. The end of that meet marked the start of Mayak's summer vacation. The conference will get back to action late August with volleyball, soccer, football, cross country, and golf all kicking off the new season. And that's your Mayak Minute. We're just a few days away now from our special day. It's the Rod Simons Golf for the Gift of Adoption Celebrity Fundraiser. It's June 27th at gorgeous Troy Byrne Golf Club in Hudson. We're raising money to help couples start forever families through adoption. All your information, and you can play too. Just go to golfforthegift.com, and we'd love to see you June 27th in Hudson. Busy show. Thanks for letting us be a part of your weekend. Don't forget to get all our updates at GameOnTVMN.com. And we'll look forward to seeing you next week right here on Game On. Make sure it's a great week and keep your game on.